I try to be analytic. I will not be doing that. This is a very subjective subject. There is no way around it. If you have lost someone or you've been very fortunate, that has not happened. Buffy and Angel do treat loss quite a lot. This is just what it is. It's my personal as well as yes analytic reaction to the body. And I will admit I have not seen the body all the way through for some time. I think I've seen Buffy and Angel at least three times in their entirety. And in terms of favorite episodes, I've lost count. Sometimes I see an episode I like at least five times or six times. So I do know those sections pretty well. But with this subject, it's a little touchy. And I'm responding directly to the Buffy Guide, which I think did a very strong essay on the body. But I will disagree in dissent. I just, and with this subject particularly, I don't quite understand why people are so upset with it. There's stronger episodes per se on tragedy and I just never really go to this episode for this particular loss and this particular theme of grief. That said, I want to be clear that yes, I have lost people, and I may be a little obscure. I will be doing minor spoilers for seasons 1 to 7 of Buffy and, and seasons 1 to 5 with Angel, but I will leave some things obscure, both due to my biography. I'm not a super private person, but I want to keep it focused on the subject, and hopefully I will give enough details to warrant being obscure. So what is wrong with the body? Well, I think the first major problem is the Glory story does not fit with this story because they built up Glory to be a very, very formidable threat. And here, once again, they're stalling and pausing. It's diminishing Glory. And granted, the rules with Glory are a mess. Like them giving her a lot of powers, then taking the powers away was very frustrating in Season 5. But I understood they had to do that to stall for the ending, but here it just felt way too phony. It just feels like we're taking another big pause for no reason, so that was frustrating. Then there's the dilemma of Joyce herself, which is that if you remember the early seasons, Joyce comes off pretty badly. I mean, Joyce is basically a caricature, and the actress is great, and I just feel sorry that the material just kept going back to this very, very tropish caricature. She hates demons. She doesn't want Buffy to be a slayer, and it's good they start to move away from that with Season 4, with all its problems. Season 4, we get a much better Joyce, more nice, more calm. It's a much more engaging Joyce, and they do more with Season 5, so I am grateful they start to move away from that Joyce, but we don't have enough time with the new Joyce, frankly. It just feels weird because from the earlier seasons, you have to be brutal. You wouldn't care she died because... It doesn't fit the earlier version of the character. We needed a little bit more time with Joyce for that transition or shock to really have value. I will say the actress does come back in Season 7. I'm not going to spoil that, but there is a way that Joyce returns. That was good. But here it just felt inadequate. And that brings up a third reason I don't really, really like this. Whedon, and this is his specialty, the irony. She was in trouble, and then they're like, no, no, she's fine. It's pretty clear, like, she's okay. It seemed like it's touch and go for a while, but no, don't worry, she'll be fine. And then they're like, no, she's not fine, she's dead. She's very much dead. Usually I don't mind it when Whedon does that. Like, he misleads us, and then he strikes back with something very, very harsh and tragic. And to be consistent, they do this with another major character in Season 6. You all know who that character is if you're a hardcore fan. And I'm going to be consistent. I didn't feel much there either and felt like, okay, fine. Yes, it's okay to have a shocking death. In Angel Season 5, they did that very well. Yes, it's unexpected, but I like that. I think they processed that very, very well. But I think when they do shocking deaths in Buffy, it just had diminishing effects. It just sort of like, this is becoming a bit of a trick. And I think Whedon was being super sincere. I think the fandom is super sincere. Why they love the body, but... I just feel for those reasons, it isn't prefer the episodes where, yes, they're a little sad or somber or there's grief, but it's not the central focus. The feeling of loss, the feeling of death is there in the background. So even though season six overall is actually very, very weak, I think those episodes about loss, even though technically in terms of quality, the body's better, they're better in terms of that theme. They're just better at communicating that sense of loss that sense of grief. Yes, there's a lot of insane stupidity with like Dawn's kleptomania coming out of nowhere. Nevertheless, 
the idea that these characters are going through these strange moments of coping with death, of coping with loss, that is where I would agree season six is actually very, very strong. You wish the episodes themselves were better, but if you do want to tap into this idea or theme of loss and grief, then again, Buffy season six or Angel season five does that. It does that with the major characters. It does that with the minor characters. But I think we lose something because the body, even though it does have a simple style throughout the whole episode, it just feels too constructed. It just feels very, very manufactured. So even though they're very careful not to do too much, that's still a decision. That's still a construct. And for me, it just doesn't register as true. I just am puzzled that the body is considered by a wide margin that place. I just personally don't go to that episode to relive those experiences. Not that you want to, because why do you want to be reminded of death? But if you do want to confront that feeling again or confront that loss, I don't see why this episode in particular is the one that does that. I just think there are better episodes or even the weaker episodes that just do a better job with that theme. And the body is sort of midway. It's a very mediocre episode to me, but if it works for you, that's great. I'm just puzzled why it gets so much attention and love. But if it is your gateway, by all means, I think the essay that was done with the Buffy Guide, very interesting, it's very strong, it's a very personal essay, so I found it very engaging, but there are other episodes that do as good or better job at that. I do respect the fandom that really has rallied around the body and really feels a lot. If that is your perspective, I respect that. I just hope the fandom is going to be more open-minded and realize that not everyone is going to love the body, not everyone should love the body, they're going to have their own episodes or their own moments within Buffy and or Angel that really do it for them, for this theme of loss and grief. And hopefully both sides will respect one another. And the body is, for what it is, is a very interesting and powerful episode. But I'm still having a lot of doubts. It has to be the episode to be the one about loss and grief for the whole fandom. And that's where I stand.